welcome back. Today we are playing The Sims 3, a 2009 social simulation game. The Sims 3 is probably one of my favourite ever Sims games, but today I'm going back with a challenge. I am playing as a teenager with a one sick grandmother, and I have to earn enough money to build a three bedroom home. The catch, it's on a 10 by 10 plot, and my grandmother cannot work. Meet Chad Grover, grandma's special little boy who's going to get us all our money to build our three bedroom house. Aylin Grover is our pain in the ass grandmother. There was a mother once, but that was just for our relationship tree stuff, don't worry about that. But we got all moved in, and it was time to start living on our patch. So as we got settled, this friendly little rabbit looking thing came around, and uh, we quickly sold their gifts for a quick little 20 simoleons. So good job, cowboy, you made that real fast. But uh, we went out and met some neighbors, and we just got on some good feet. Uh, but to my surprise, when we got home, my grandmother was uh, really scolding me. And uh, at the time, I didn't know this was going to be an issue, but uh, this bitch was, uh, she was going to be an issue. The paper route came around, and we were pretty quick to get a high-paying job as a receptionist to get at least one wall up. Fortunately, my job didn't start for a day or two, so I had to be creative, and I thought photography would probably be the way to do it. Oh, how I was wrong. The night fell, and we needed to find a place to eat place to sleep with nothing on our home plot. We went down to the park and joined the local community and did a little hot dog supreme which I was very happy to know that they are appreciated. We were starting to get tired though and we could have just joined the local homeless community on the floor but I thought maybe you would do something different. But it was at this time that I was fishing and I realized that you can actually make money off the fish you caught. Armed with this new knowledge, I uh, put my sims to sleep in a public lot. I used the facilities there, such as the bathroom and the showers to make sure we were happy. And we had a little nap on the, the deck chairs. Very comfy. Morning rolled around and we were soon greeted by the local morning pool goers. So Chad woke up and got himself into school. So old granny went and introduced herself to the neighbors. Letting herself in, she tried to use someone's kitchen, which I thought was a pretty good idea, but uh, they quickly kicked her out. So to combat this, she went through someone's bin, which actually proved to be a pretty profitable way of making a little bit of cash. We were starting to get pretty hungry, so we went down to the local park where we found a snow cone machine with free snow cones. Unfortunately, this gave us a big steamer and we blocked the public bathroom. But we finished work, we made 98 simoleons, leaving us with a cool 200 simoleons by the end of day two. And we met a little love interest, which unfortunately ended in a uh, broken soul where we were rejected our first kiss. Honestly, we were progressing pretty well with a steady job and a little bit of ways to make money on the side, but I didn't feel like we were actually getting anywhere. The coppers came and grabbed me because apparently curfew is a thing in The Sims 3. I didn't know this, which uh, was really bad because this was the start of the downfall. My grandmother started to scold me and then I was grounded. This means I had to buy a $100 sleeping bag just to make sure my guy was arrested. A granny let herself into someone else's house and then started making brekkie again. This time we weren't shoot off straight away, but once we were done and we were starving, that's when he kicked us out. Unfortunately, we continued to get scolded, which was leaving Chad pretty hungry and unrested. It was getting difficult to make money and manage this unfair relationship. We kept getting sprung for just trying to feed ourselves and the lunacy started to really ramp up. Chad was growing, finding new spots to feed himself, but also using his time grounded to his advantage. He finally got that first kiss. With time running out, I started to use Granny to make money in more adventurous ways. We made enough money to finally get a proper fridge to feed ourselves on our own lot. I could finally afford my own toilet and sink. Living the dream, baby! We kept working and hustling on the side until we could finally afford our first room. It quickly grew into a small little outdoor kitchen and then a second room. We were finally starting to win. It turned into spooky season where I abused the haunted house for free tickets and therefore free money. And it finally felt like we were winning. But we weren't finished the challenge yet. Granny developed quite an interesting trait, one that would allow her to roam the streets at night and steal things. So that's what we did. We stole a car and cars and lamps, which allowed us to sell it for quite a hefty profit. And this profit actually allowed us to build a three bedroom dwelling just like that. Now this felt a little bit cheaty, so I threw a house party and quickly realized that the house was actually too small. So I set myself on another mission to grow my house to an acceptable size. I kept Granny swiping so she went around the neighborhood hunting for cars. This meant we were living pretty well, pretty comfortably. We were able to do a little bit of remodeling. We added a second story to our house, 
And then eventually, the challenge was over. We were finally a young adult. This means that we were pretty happy and we got rid of Granny as soon as possible. And I married the love of my life, my teenage dream. And we lived happily ever after. And I think that's going to do it for today's video. So I hope you enjoyed The Sims 3. I uh, do enjoy making these types of videos. So again, if you do, make sure you like and make sure you comment any other games you would like to see. Thank you again for watching. And until next time, stay happy.